Well, uh, I'm sure it's not the way you wanted to move up in the GC, but talk a little bit about uh, the news, when you heard it, and your, your initial reaction. Oh, <laughs> uh, my race continues. It's the same for me. I'm fo focusing on the next time trial, and um, yeah, it doesn't change much for me. But um, yeah, it certainly increases my uh, opportunities for the podium. Or if you were to take the jersey Saturday, you would really only have the one day Sunday in Paris to wear it. Would you feel a little bit robbed by that? Not at all. I think my team would be pretty happy. <laughs> Less time in the wind for you. Sorry? Less time in the wind to... Oh, then, yeah. Yeah. Could you have done it yesterday if Mikael Lasmus had not been there? Um, uh, I don't know. It was more... Uh, Lifeheimer was a little bit better than me yesterday. And, um, you know, normally in this tour I felt that I was climbing a bit better than he was. So he sort of surprised me yesterday. I, um, to me, Contador was a little bit less. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. Sorry. You know, you look very relaxed. Are you angry? At all. Not, at all. not at all. I've got to stay calm. I have an important uh, day on Saturday. Yeah, you can win. You can win the win now. It's possible, yeah. yeah. So what do you think of uh, David Roy getting rid of his uh, yellow jersey? Oh, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I don't know all the facts, so... So I really can't comment on it till I know all the facts. It puts you in a better position. No, well, moving up one place on GC when you're in my position, yeah, it's, it's usually better, yeah. So your position is that you can win? Oh, I, I'd say it increased my, my chances of winning, but uh, it's not over till it's over, so... You know, we understand that you want to sue Vinokurov and his team. Is that another way of holding them accountable for what Me, happened? No. <laughs> Has there been any word at all from ASO in terms of yeah, granting you the stage win for the time trial? I don't know. I don't know. I'm here racing my bike. I'm not following all the other... Uh... Given the, the time differences in the first time trial and the fact that there's no category for climb, which maybe suited Contador a little better, how close do you think the margins could be on Saturday? Um, normally, in theory, um, the final time trial would be more suited towards me. Um, yeah, in theory, but... This is the third week of the tour, and as we've seen, anything can and will happen. The second time trial suits me less, but it suits uh, two or more so Contador even less, so it's nearly completely flat, so so um, we'll see what that brings. But also it's the third week, normally it's uh, the way everyone recovers and comes out of it that really matters. The way I read yesterday, you look like you're about the same as where you were in Contador. His curve might have been going down. What are your perceptions? Yeah, um, yeah, I'd agree with that. I think that's a good observation. To me, uh, Rasmussen seems to have stayed pretty, con or he had stayed consistent until yesterday, and then um, yeah, it was Contador that really came down because you saw the acceleration he did over the Paris Tour. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, and then Leipheimer seems to have come come better, but also at the same time, uh, Leipheimer, he's he's really been able to sit comfortably. He hasn't had to do much work. He hasn't even needed to be in position or under pressure because it's Contador or me or whoever have to cover the moves and, and you know, make, make, make the moves. So um, Leipheim is coming into the race probably fresher than anyone, but um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Christian Pradom this morning said the race was continuing for the benefit of people like yourself who have given absolutely everything. Where is your heart positioned at the moment in this race? Oh, thanks, Christian. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I still believe in the race and uh, I, hope, I hope there's a lot of people who still believe in us because there's a lot of us that have been working uh, very hard for a very long time, me, half my life. Um, it's, um, yeah, the race continues and, uh, you know, it's just a, it's just a, a, a few, but uh, the UCI really is um, doing a good job to fight against doping and far more than any other sporting organisation in the, in the world is and I think people forget that.